Okay, so types of wool. Here we have a, a basic wool breed sheep that that's pro produces a lovely, lustrous coat. The Romney Corydales are, are long, very kinky hair, wool, excuse me, that produces a strong fiber. It's a wonderful fiber and very sturdy. This, this wool would be used mostly in things like rugs or coats, things that need some, some strength and don't need to be super fine. This is not a very fine, fine wool. The fine wools are the merinos and the rambouillets, and those come on a completely different kind of sheep. Any given sheep will give you a somewhat of a variety of fineness to their wool, but it's pretty much by breed that you can determine whether the wool will be fine or not. This wool, when, once she's full grown, by next March, she'll have a fleece that's anywhere from four to five to even six inches long. And some sheep are longer and some sheep are shorter, but that's what we're mostly concerned with for wool is the fineness. And when you get to a fine grade suit or sweater or any article of clothing, usually you're using a merino. A wool like this one is great for a hand knit sweater or, as I said before, rugs. And mostly this, this type of wool comes, the Romney now is grown mostly, I believe, in New Zealand. And believe it or not, most of the wool in the world is still grown in the Southern Hemisphere. Australia and New Zealand are the largest wool producers in the world, but the processing happens in the Northern Hemisphere. So wool is really part of our global economy.